First up tonight is Miss Lisa McDonald. She is the founder of Career Polish, a national career coaching and practice firm that helped she started back in 2009. Lisa is the mother of three human boys, three furry boys, those are dogs, and she is a self-professed gratitude junkie. Next to myself, she is one of the most fastest talking people you will ever meet, if I get the words out. So please join me in giving Lisa a big round of applause as she comes to talk with us tonight. Woo! Oh, come on, y'all can do better than that. Good evening. Good evening. Awesome. Look, I have a whole bunch of information to talk about. Not a lot of time to do it, so I need you to be engaged and keep up. And what I'm going to talk to you tonight about is, I told you I'm a speed talker. What I'm going to talk tonight about, thankful for the piles of poop in your life, it has to do with the three legs of gratitude. So, because I am a gratitude junkie. The other thing is, I'm a mother of boys. Not working. Whoops. Chris, come fix it. So, when you get back on here, there's going to be a thing that you're going to see the tall, bit, the tall one on the top. That's my baby. The other boys, those are some of his best friends who adopted me as their second mom. And as we were growing up, and actually to this day, I hear a lot of, Mama McDonald, talk slower. And I always say, listen faster. Kind of your job tonight, because you can tell I'm a really fast talker. The other thing is, I am a mother of puppies. I love my dogs almost as much, if not more, than my babies. Because, well, if they get on my nerves, I can throw them outside with a bowl of water, some toys, and I shut the door, and I don't get in trouble. The other thing is, I have a really hard time seeing a picture of dogs and not wanting to take them home, love them, squeeze them, and name them George. But I can't do that, because that would be a crazy dog lady. But here's the thing. Hello. Chris? <laughs> Happen on my time here, man. All right, even this little guy, I think he's adorable. I name him George. But a lot of people look at this guy and go, oh, poor little thing. He's only got three legs. He can't live a happy and fulfilling life as a dog with four legs. Actually, he can. You know what? I know this for a fact because two of my dogs tore their ACLs about the same time, and it was about the time when this picture was taken. As you can see, my kid was very tall and athletic, and guess what? He was in every sport under the sun. Most of them were travel. He was a very expensive child. I didn't have five grand for puppy surgery. felt like a horrible dog mommy. I went to my vet, God love him, Dr. Nick's been with him forever, and he said, Lisa, it's okay. Dogs can live a happy and fulfilling life on three legs just as easy as they can on four, and it doesn't affect their quality of life. And guess what? He was right. The other thing, put some glucosamine and chondroitin in their dog food. They don't live after about a month. But the point is, our little three-legged dog there is just like gratitude and three legs for happy and fulfillment and balance in our lives. So the first leg that people mostly know about, I told you to start making sense, is be grateful for what you have. Now, I'm not going to explain this kind of self-explanatory. Hopefully everybody does this. If you don't, you really should. I'm not going to judge. The second is acting as if. You want to bring something in your life, you start acting as if you already have it. Give gratitude for right now. It raises your vibration, brings it to you closer, and it makes sure that it truly is in your highest good. Now, those are the two legs that people most know about on gratitude. Now, that's wonderful, and that's a two-legged dog, and he could do some pretty cool tricks. Maybe get on David Letterman before he retires. But he still can't do the things that puppies love to do, and that's run and jump and chase puppies and squirrels like my dogs. So we need that third leg. But before we talk about that third leg, let me say another thing about dogs. They poop. They poop wherever they want, whenever they want. I don't care how well you train your dog. You can train your dog to poop in the same spot every day for the rest of his life. He gets mad at you, he's going to poop where he wants. Case in point, this is Bud. Bud is a dog of one of my best friends. My, one of my best friends happens to be 6'4", and when he was a baby puppy, he got mad at his daddy. What did he do? He went and he pooped in his shoes and he pooped on his pillow. I thought it was hilarious. Daddy didn't think so, but that's another story. But that actually is a third leg of gratuity, and that is, or gratitude, and that's the piles of poop because those are the opportunities. Those are the challenges that come up in our life, and you're thinking, what the heck? Think of it in terms of dogs, okay? You have a bad day. You're having a flat tire late for work. Well, that's like a little foo-foo dog, and those things poop rabbit turds. It's not that big of a deal. You can kind of step around it, go over it. It doesn't mess up your shoes. If you're really lazy, wait till it dries, kick it out of the way. Nobody's done the wiser. Not a big deal. But the big piles of poop, those are the things I'm talking about, like the Great Pyrenees. I had a Great Pyrenees. It's like a herd of horses went through your backyard when that thing poops. Trust me, it's a lot. That is the opportunity for you to learn something new about yourself, meet somebody else, go in a different direction. But there is putting you in your life for you to stop and pause and learn. And once you get through that challenge, you have even more opportunity for greatness in your life, more to be grateful for. And let's face it, kids, we need the piles of poop in our life because it is a fertilizer for the flowers that are the garden of life. So go home tonight, hug your family, hug your kids, hug your dog. If you've got a cat, you can hug that too, whatever. Be grateful for what you have, be grateful for what you want in your life, and be grateful for the challenges because it gives you more to be grateful for. If you didn't understand what I said, it's only four minutes of your life you lost, it's not a big deal. Thank you, have a wonderful evening. Woo!